So should Wisconsin join California and Colorado and Washington State in legalizing marijuana for adult use? Well, Melissa Sargent says we should, Madison State Rep, who doesn't smoke pot, by the way. But here's the deal, I think the answer is yes. And before you start getting excited, I never understood how this argument goes where if you make it legal, you'll have greater access. Now, maybe you will have greater access in certain cases, but when I was a kid, I mean, eighth grade on, we had beer at parties, we had keggers, and we also had pot. I don't remember going to a party from eighth and ninth grade on where there wasn't pot. People would offer you a joint. You could pass the toke. I hated peer pressure, so I would always pass, plus I'd burn my hand on the pipe. But here's the deal. You can get marijuana anywhere you want. If you're in a suburban or city school at a party, there's plenty of marijuana. If you don't want to smoke marijuana, don't smoke marijuana. I don't understand this argument. If you make it illegal, you raise the price. You have an incentive for young people to sell it for money for economic reasons. If a youngster can make 30, 40 grand selling marijuana, why would he do something else for a living? I know there's harder drugs. I know you have to draw the line, but marijuana, I mean, it's an economic incentive right now. You raise the price. I mean, there are two kinds of drug crime, folks. There's addict crime, where you steal and rob to get money to your, your fix, and there's turf crime. You maim or kill people who are trampling on your turf in terms of trafficking drugs. Uh, let's at least cut marijuana out of the picture. And we have too many people in jail already for selling marijuana. The incarceration rates are out of control in the drug war. It's a no-brainer as far as I'm concerned. We should decriminalize marijuana. Now, if Jeff Sessions wants to crack down on it at the federal level, it just means that the Republicans won't ever win Wisconsin again like they don't win California anyway as a result of Prop 187 all those years ago on illegal immigration. But the point of it is, be smart. Don't raise the price. Don't, incre don't increase the incentive to sell it for a living. Decriminalize marijuana, it's a no-brainer. The answer is yes. Those are my two cents, and my two minutes are brought to you by Capital Consultants and Edge Construction. Mike Tuig and his staff can read your kitchen, your basement, your bathroom, your staircase, make your home feel just like home. Talk about this and more on the Mitch Hank Show at MadisonTalks.com or Facebook Live.